Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are well. Um, just a disclaimer, I have not finished yesterday's project yet. Um, and like, I haven't filled it yet, but we'll do that. I'll do that, and then I'll show you, but I don't know whether, when I'll get that done. So today, we're up to day 79, and this um, request was from Shirley. Let me just read. Something inspired by Mum. And also my sister in something inspired by Juju, as we call her. Um, now, I know we've had Juju's hobby. Um, we've been inspired by um, Juju's book that she gave me. But another thing that makes me think of mum are beautiful tins and boxes. And so I've got two here that don't really have anything in them, except maybe a bit of paper. And so what I thought I would do with these lovely boxes um, is um, I'm going to make them um, into a little um, sewing box, like a little pin cushion box, if you know what I mean. So there's quite a few things here that, that um, are inspired by mum. First of all, the boxes. Um, and then mum loves all of these, um, all of these uh what do you call them like cutters quilts so i have quite a few pieces of course some i mean some of these i am not i'm going i would keep that as a whole and make that into a picture or something um but i do have quite a few small pieces and pieces that i can cut and so um i thought i will use these in this project um but i i'll have to be careful i may have to get up and down as well because i might need to get things so um I love them that you know the more holes they have the more I like them and I've got more of course I do um but I just need to go and find them I'm yum okay so um now the idea to do this came from Charlotte Lyons I don't know if you've ever heard of her let me just grab a few more okay so I've got choices I um, wouldn't cut that one up here's another piece and here's another bit. It's all these little pieces, they're all good for this. Oh, here's a bigger one like that. See, my mum would love that. Okay, so what I, I mean, it's a very simple project. That's why I thought I would do two. Um, so the idea came from Charlotte Lyons. I'm doing uh, her course. Um, I'll link where the course is. It's on a, a is it Jeannie or Janine Oliver's website? She has lots of really fun projects. A lot of it's painting and mixed media. Um, but Charlotte, she's hosting this course by Charlotte as well. That fits perfectly. How about that? And so Charlotte had shown, she didn't show how to do this. She just showed hers. Um, it's not very hard um, to do. Um, so I'm not being naughty because she actually didn't teach us to do it. If that's what I'm trying to say. And what I might do is that piece is perfect. I might have to trim it down. So it need, this is the one I'm going to give my mum. And it needs to fit in there. But um, I might just trim the tiniest bit off it. So if you didn't have any like antique pieces of quilt, all you would need to get is um, just a piece of a batting or wadding, not too thick, some fabric on the top, and just do your running stitch all the way across and you get a nice piece of um, quilted fabric you could even machine stitch across if you didn't want to hand stitch um, now let me see that's still too wide so I'm going to trim it on this side because the other side has those lovely colors and I'm just eyeballing you see look at this I'm just gonna see and then it will be filled so um, then it will fit and I'm just wondering where's that other piece that I liked um, that I thought my mum would like is this no where's it gone oh this one I know my mum would like that. Sometimes my mum, just to get sidetracked, she she pulls hers apart. And she, um, so it's going to be quilted on both sides. She pulls hers apart and um, to see what's inside. Because sometimes there's other lovely fabrics inside. And so then you get many. So let's look at this one. See this one I can see there. Oh no, that's just where the, there was the seam. So you don't, but you could pull it apart. See, I love that side and that side, but you could, and so you could pull it apart to, um, to, um, you have both fabrics. That's what I want to say. So what I'm going to do here now, this can be very simple. 
I think now what color will I use oh here's these beautiful wools that um maybe I'd like to use a wool rather than that I've changed my mind I think I might oh isn't that lovely mum would like that could put that behind oh it's almost the perfect width maybe that would be nice behind I wonder how it would wear you know it might not wear so well okay now we'll do the quilt right so what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to hold it together it might be tough I didn't bring I've got more I've got other ones here so I was going to say I didn't bring my um pulling thimble but look how many I have some of them are good some of them aren't oh I do have one of those I wanted to know if I had one of those that's for pushing the needle through you put that on that finger I oh, no, not that one you put it on this one and you push the needle through I need to use that okay right so totally inspired by Charlotte Lyons. Um, I'm not being naughty because she didn't show us how to make it. Um, but it's not, I mean, there's nothing to make really. Okay, so I'm going to grab a needle. Probably that one's a little bit bent. Maybe my mum always tells me off with my bent needles. I think I'm just going to end up using, oh, maybe I'll use that nice hand dyed. That would be nice. Let's use that one. My needle books are in the other room, of course, aren't they? Now, this shouldn't take me too long. I mean, we might only get one done. Oh, my goodness. I haven't got my threader here either. Did you notice? So, I hope everybody is well. Um, all is good here. I think I might... I might have to... Um, pause the video oh no I got it I thought I might have to go and get my threader okay we'll do our quilters knot you can machine stitch around this and then just have a um, sort of flattish edge now I'm going to start here because I will have to leave an opening and all I'm doing is going to um, overcast stitch or whip stitch all the way around if I feel like it's taking me too long because I know some people do not like to watch the stitching I will pause it and then continue on so go all the way around pretty fast like not me the stitch and it's really because I'm going through two quilt pieces it's quite thick so it's good to have a needle puller thimble on so your fingers don't get too tired and I'm glad I chose this color this is some hand dyed um, thread that a friend here did she actually teaches I've never gone to do one of her courses the eco dyeing just see just go around the edge come in about I don't know three mil or something like that not right on the edge just a little bit in just you know readjust it I might trim a little bit off we'll see and of course you could go a little bit cray cray with this you don't have to use um, a piece of um, cutters quilt you could use um, I think they're called cutters quilts. I guess they're quilts that you cut up, right? Um, you could uh, you do a piece yourself. Like even a piece of, if you're doing the Anne Brook thing, if you didn't, I mean, if it, like if you had a more simple piece of your um, long one, and then you could use that and make that into a little pin cushion. Yep, this is going to be good. So maybe I will pause you. I'll finish off this bit because um, otherwise some people get bored. And I will be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back and recording. Yes, I'm just nearly at the end. 
Now, this was overhanging a little bit. I'm just going to push it and line it up because um, that suits me just fine. I'm just going to force it to line up because it doesn't matter. I'm going to put some... Oops, I didn't go through the top layer. I'm going to put some wadding in there. Now, you can buy toy... Wadding is... Uh, not wadding. Um, toy filler, I should say. Um, you can buy... I'm going to leave an opening here. So I'm going to end this off and then I'll get a new piece because it's nearly done and I, I don't feel I don't need to decorate this because it's just a beautiful piece of old quilt two pieces of beautiful old quilt and then I'm going to get a new piece of um, thread and as Charlotte says in her course hopefully I remember telling it you you'll remind me if I forget because there's a bit of a time lapse um, between when I um, actually do the video and the video is uploaded and then published and then I forget things I should make a list but you know me anyway so um, these are very good things to take um, you know like if you you're going away it's a nice way nice place to put keep things compact put them all in there and carry it around with you so this is, um, so talking about the toy filler, this is toy filler. In Italy, it's quite expensive to buy a big bag of toy filler. So do you know what I do? I go to Ikea, buy the cheapest pillow there is. Not the one with the, I like the one with this sort of foamy stuff. And I think it costs about two euro. There we go. Isn't that the cute, I mean, that's a little dolly pillow. It'd be a little dolly pillow as well. Um, so yeah, I just go to Ikea and I get the, the pillow and I empty it out. I cut it open and then... I've got the cheapest toy filler and it's exactly the same as as the one and almost the same quantity as the one that cost 13 euro so why wouldn't I buy the two euro pillow and cut it open it's not a great quality pillow to sleep on okay so we'll just finish the last bit off because I ran out it was perfect amount of thread because I ran out right there and we just stitch it shut and we've instantly got a little pin cushion put that on there and you can make it with anything you like you can make it with the felted wool um any hand dyed felted wool you can make it with you know fabric but it is nice it does have a nice effect with these beautiful old pieces of quilt and i didn't you see i didn't overfill it you don't want to overfill it well especially with that one i won't fill it very much at all because that one's a lower but this one's a deeper a deeper tin I mean you could become really you could do really snazzy things like you know line the tin with stuff but I'm not thinking I'm not one I wasn't thinking I was going to do that I was just going to sit the pillow in there You, to light it, you just, um, you shouldn't have it double like that. Just go back through your stitch. There we are. And then just jiggle it about a bit. So as I said, you can create your little quilted look um, with, by, you know, doing it yourself. And that's an even better project. And that's just going to sit in there. And that's going to have... It's a pin cushion, so these slide in there. I mean, they in this tin, because it's so deep, they can even stand up. I think it's so cute. Thank you, Charlotte. So, yeah, I've been doing Charlotte's course. Um, well, you know, I, I knew how to do most of the stuff, but it was just, I like, I've always been a fan of hers. So um, when the course came out, I just bought it. And I actually bought it last year in October. I was, did the early bird purchase, so I got the discount. And then I didn't do the course, did I? Okay, so that's going to go there. And then I wanted to do something up here. It's very simple. Like, well, maybe we could put a little piece of paper in there. I can sort of see an imprint of writing in there. Oh, that's the writing there. Okay, so... Um, maybe 
oh i know you'll be very pleased to know guys that i found my bag of florentine papers i bet that will give you all a thrill look i found them i'm just going to see which one would i like to put in there maybe i'd like to put in this one maybe red mummy's patch mum mum does like red or i could even put a piece of old what about a oh, what about a piece of old um wallpaper that's about the only wallpaper i've got i don't have much wallpaper and well, the other thing mum would like that too i can put that one in decisions are the worst aren't they they really are hard um just i'm just i've got to audition everything here's the red that i was thinking and i know my mum would like that so some of you will have these papers already they've arrived some have just sent some of them some of my old ones that i don't have anymore i have that piece of beautiful that's real um marbled paper there's another piece of that that's not very big okay let's just have a look and see what do we like the best with see that's red there I think I might like that one. Like that one. I do like the blue. Maybe the blue or that one. That one's almost the right size. Two blue in there. Or that one. Just thinking like when you I think this one. Okay. I've made a decision. So I guess to, I've never done this before, but I guess to measure it, I would just go like this. I'm just going to crease it there, around there. That's how I'm measuring it, guys. Oh, look at that. Got a nice measurement. Move those scissors out of the way. So I just give it a little trim. I flip it over so you don't have that light reflecting. doesn't have to be perfect right and that oh yes that's going to be good so I'll glue that in there oh don't even have to it's stuck so all I'm going to get is my PVA glue and where's my brush oh no my brush is in the other room just a minute I have to go and get it I'm back when I went into the kitchen I just grabbed a piece of dark chocolate as well as you do while you're there give myself a burst of energy i got my little brush guys i'm just going to put a slathering of glue on there i reckon pva will hold pretty much everything and if it doesn't i don't think the paper will come out Yes, and also, Lulu, yeah. have your muffin and then have a painkiller. I just had one. Oh, okay, well then. Well, I had one. Okay, all right. Right, what will I use to squish it down? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, there we are. Just to push it down in the sides without you know, mucking about, squishing my fingers in there. Oh, that's wonderful. There we go. Look at that. I think that's very pretty. And I've got this towel. is not wet, but it, it's dry. But what I'll do is I'll just swing around there like that. And just give it a bit of a clean. Good. Well, how easy peasy was that? Right, so that will sit in there on the paper. I'm not doing. Don't think I'm going to do anything with the sides. We'll leave it like that. Sorry if there's a reflection there. Now, Charlotte just she had a little something here, and then she had a um, magnet. I just took that off a magnet that was in our kitchen. And look, she puts her needles there, which I thought was super cool. 
So she keeps her needles on the magnet of, and she has a few different sizes. Um, she uses darning needles. I think I might need, look at that bent one. I think I can get rid of that one. I don't have too many in here. They're all in my other one, but that's where the needles go. But I wanted to put something there. Maybe I'll put a nice piece of fabric in there. How about that? What about a nice piece of fabric? Gosh, these are beautiful. I don't know where these come from. But you, oh, here we go. Look, so beautiful, very pale pink stripy fabric in there. So they just layered it up. Look, two layers of that beautiful. I'm, I'm going to have to pull this apart. And I even love the, that's just like a woolly sort of thing that they had there. And then, and then that's the backing. So you get all. And um, also when you unpick them, they the impression of the stitching still stays in, in the pieces quite often. So you still get that sort of quilted look. I mean, for example, this one is so thick that you could never use it all. Like, well, you could, but I wouldn't use it all unless you're making a um, cover. But look at that. So you've, I've, un, I've pulled that out. And this idea totally is my mum's idea. But look at that. I pulled that out. You get this beautiful sheer fabric that you can almost, it's so worn you can see you see through it. You get this lovely piece of wool. This is just a piece of wool. Um, it's not even wadding. It's wool. But look at look at all the indentation and the texture in that. They all need, I, I mean, I'll pull them apart and I'll wash. You've got beautiful ticking, a tan ticking. Uh, this I'm not so mad about. It's a it's like a jersey, stretchy sort of fabric. But I think I'll wash it. Look, no. Look at this. It was um, something. It was like a piece of clothing. It's a repurposed piece of clothing. So I will be treasuring that. So I'll be pulling that out. So guys, get your quilts and just have a little peekaboo what's inside. So this is a piece of clothing. I bet it was an undergarment. Ooh, gross. But I'm sure it was was. Oh, it looks like it was underpants. I bet it was underpants or drawers. I bet it was drawers. <laughs> Oh, God, i got to stop looking. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to put a pretty piece of fabric in there, I think. And I think the, the magnet will still stick if there's a piece of fabric in there. Mm -hmm. Super simple project. Super simple Simon project. Okay, so I've got this. That kind of goes, doesn't it? Not as much with that. Just let me have a look. I've also got this fabric... I think this is not well that kind of goes more with that i'm just trying to think like when you open it um mm. what would be nice to see my mum loves birds i've got it this is it i'm gonna i'm gonna fussy cut the bird i'm not fussy cut i'm gonna get the piece where the bird is she absolutely loves birdies she embroiders them she loves them so Let's find a piece where there's a full bird. Here we go. That I don't have to cut right into this. Not those scissors. They don't cut anymore. They've had it. So I'm just going to cut it bigger than what I need. Whatever's left over, I can always use for something else. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, I don't know. Is that? So I guess I'm going to stick it in there where that bit is there. So, I am, I do know, I'm going to grab my pin just in case. I'm actually going to draw it. I'm going to draw my line. Just going by feel this. When I wet this, this will go away. You know I like doing bodgy measuring. I'm very bodgy, bodgy measurer. I like to do it. I like to do the messy measuring. It's called messy measuring. You just messy measure and hope for the best. And if you make a mistake, well, cut another piece out. You can use that piece for something else. That's my motto. Make a mistake. If you're working with paper, you can cover it up. And it might be wrong. This might be the wrong measurement. Isn't that cute? And if I really had time, oh, it's a little bit smaller. But yes, no, that's going to be good. That's fine. 
doesn't have to cover all of it. So I'll glue that in there. Oh, I think those colours are perfect with that pillow. And I like my paper in the bottom. Afterwards, I'll let, take the pillow out and let that dry. So I need to put my glue more on just using white glue, PVA glue. That glues pretty much everything. If you look, read the long list of things that it glues, glues fabric, paper, wood, all kinds of stuff. If I were gluing metal to metal, I would use E6000 glue, which is really stinky, um, but very strong. But I'm not, so I think I'll just glue um, with the PVA. to just put a little bit more glue under there. Oh, here it is. Better close that so it doesn't dry. It's, it's pretty hot outside. Let's make sure it's so it's all coming into contact with the surface. And I've lost my I keep wanting to say it in Italian. There it is. It still sticks to it, you see? Good. How good is that? And then the pins can go on there. Now, another thing I'm just thinking. So you could fit your cute little um, embroidery scissors in there as well. And you could put a few threads in there if you wanted to, like if you wanted to have something really small to travel. Um, but this could also fit into a bigger box where you have a wider range of things in, like your, you could put your thimbles in there, um, where you could have a wider range of things. Even my scissors will stick up there if I want them to. Um, where you could have a wider range of things um, like the hoop and all that sort of stuff. So that's for the needles, although the needles could go in there as well. But you might need lots of pins so they can all go there. Isn't that cute? I'm very happy with this. Thank you, Charlotte. And um, I'm just wondering, do I want to put, and I might answer myself and say no, you could have, but I'm not covering up the bird. That's my only issue is I, well, I could put my thing over there and I could have it at the tail. Do I want to glue down a piece of lace and under the lace, I don't have any here. Do I, oh, I've got one of that. No, that one. You could, you could actually put like, a bit of thread no I don't think I think I'll just leave it it's very simple as I said simple Simon so that's that that's that one done and the other one I'm going to do the other one for me and um and this one's for my mum but I'm going to do it the same way so I guess I don't really need to do that on the video so that is it today inspired by mum so what was inspired by mum mum loves tins and boxes absolutely loves them she collects them and she loves them. She loves to put things in them. And she'll have them on display and change her display around. Um, she loves birds. She loves um, antique pieces of quilt. And has quite a collection. I'm going to leave that. For, and she loves Florence. So there's some Florentine paper. So that is all inspired by Mum. Um, but also inspired by Charlotte Lyons. Who Mum also loves. So for example. Oh, I don't think I know where they are. Charlotte has some lovely embroidery patterns. I've got some of them, but I haven't done them yet. I've had them for years and I still haven't done them. Um, I will do them one day. Uh, they've got her beautiful um, patterns printed onto the fabric and you embroider them. But um, I don't have any here. But you could fit that in here, like in this particular box. So that is my project today. Um, of course, you could do a box like this and, um, and not have it for sewing. You could um, get your beautiful piece of quilt and cut it out and and fit it in the box as well and then use it for I don't know carrying around ephemera so um, many uses for a decorated box you could go around the edges I didn't want to do that that's really messy and also this one has for example a rod that goes through that turns and I you know I don't think the paper on the edges would last very long 
anyway that is my project for today inspired by mum it's a lovely sewing tin with lots of things in there that mum loves so i hope you enjoyed that it's a very quick one and i will see you again soon bye hi so i'm back quickly i'll attach this at the end i just wanted to show you um that i have done the other one as well so these are the two tins here um and then i added i did end up adding a belly band it's just drying if it doesn't if it doesn't stick down well with the pva glue i'll use the e6000 um so that's what it would look like and then you take it out and you've got your pin pin cushion there so that's that one and then i did this one as well very similar this is one of my favorite fabrics and i don't have very much of it left some of the old um wallpaper and again i made a little belly band there and so that's that one as well so i'll put some oh i'm a bit behind on instagram but there will be photographs eventually um but super fun project and i just want came back on really to say if you wanted if you didn't hand sew you would um you could just raw stitch this flat like that you know the two sides like this so you've got your two sides line them up get your sewing machine start here back stitch so it doesn't come out go around like that and then um, back stitch there, leave the opening, fill it. And then um, you probably, if you didn't fill it too much, you might be able to squish it under your sewing machine, but you might have to just quickly hand stitch it shut. That's how you would machine stitch. So that's all I wanted to come back and say. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It was very quick, but super fun project. I think that'd be a beautiful gift for someone. You could put like, um, I need another, I don't have another magnet, but that would go there that and you could put like a little embroidery floss or something in there and the scissors fit as I said and thimble and all that kind of thing so there you have it so but I think that would be a lovely gift for someone as well so I hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching and I will see you again soon bye I'm going for real now bye